And all new at 11 o'clock, a local teacher off the job accused of racist comments. The viral photo behind the controversial remarks and the school's response. A DeKalb County school teacher commented on the photo, advising the man on how to do it properly. It's truly disturbing. CBS 46's Jamie Kennedy spoke with the school, police, and those in the community. It's a disturbing image mocking the death of George Floyd. Hey, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. That has many in shock. This is not a joking moment. This is a healing moment. That, that's all I can say about that. It's just insulting. The man kneeling is Isaiah Jackson. Not only is he mocking George Floyd, the two-year-old he's kneeling on is his son and appears to be crying in the picture, subdued not by one, but two men. The picture making international headlines. If the picture wasn't bad enough, a comment on the picture says again, you're doing it wrong. One knee on center of the back, one on the neck and lean into it until death. You saw the video, get it right or stop blanking around. Brian Pappen made that comment and according to his LinkedIn is a special education teacher who has worked at a number of schools in the metro Atlanta area. DeKalb County Schools began investigating Pappen yesterday. On their Facebook page today they posted Pappen had resigned and that there was no place for racism and abuse in the school district. Community parents happy with the news but afraid of what damage has already occurred. It's more like a, a wolf in sheep's clothing. If you were anything but appalled by the ba what that baby was going through, I don't want you teaching my child. Now that man who was kneeling on the back of the neck of that infant is an Ohio man. He is now in the Clark County Jail in Ohio. He's there on outstanding warrants. Now the Clark County Sheriff's Office tells me that the mother was unaware of that picture and that the infant was taken to hospital at the time and was checked out and is okay. In DeKalb County, Jamie Kennedy, CBS 46 News.